I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive and- Not the cap. I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now. Um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. We're in five is practically elevator music at this point. So I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. What do you mean by that? After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell at this point. <laughs> I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. I'm gonna handle this privately. I never wanted to come forward because obviously I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do, and being an Instagram model. Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes. I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted, and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so here I am. A few moments later. Um, I have a lot more that was said that was like not appropriate. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable posting everything, and I never even wanted to post any of this. Stop just cow. like that other girl said, like the only way this would have ever came out is if somebody ever posted it. Um, a lot of my friends knew and they were shocked. Um, but I'm really happy and I have a really great life now. So, you know, just I guess if any other girls have experienced this with him, which I'm sure they have, I just think they should post it because I feel really bad for his wife and nobody deserves it. So. Since you guys don't believe me, here is my Instagram and my feed and my page. And let's type in Adam. He already was there, you know, because I searched him today. And go to his page and show you that this is really him. And I have a bunch of messages. Six and a half hours later. Oh shit, here we go again. Another woman has come forward exposing Adam Levine. Here he is flirting with her and he sends her a message that says, I'm stupid. Day two. After Sumner came out, he posted this and then two more came out. A lot is being said about me right now and I want to clear the air. I use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife, any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I've addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. So he basically been apologized. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I ever could make. I will never make it again. I will take full responsibility. We will get through it and we will get through it together. I mean, is his wife on the same page? I don't know. Looking at these women, he definitely does have a type. So if you have lip injections, you have a shot with Adam. All the women he's tech so far had them duck lips all are petite with implants that's what he likes i mean his marriage must be getting a little stale for him to be sliding into women's dms with these weak games just basically seeking attention as far as his marriage he better be doing whatever he can to stay together because he's worth 160 million with two kids ages five and four and one on the way child support would eat him alive he's only been married for eight years so he's two years short of that long-term marriage by california law where he would have to pay his wife lifetime support hopefully he has a prenup just in case she pulled the plug for him texting now to be fair it does seem like all the text messages were somewhat harmless but he did meet with that sumner chick in person and who knows what happened it doesn't sound like anything physical happened considering she used the words like, I was seeing him. And when you're seeing someone, 
that's very different from hooking up as you know some people would say after her video went viral a lot of women was getting at her for saying she was naive and basically playing the victim like you know he tricked her when she knew all along he was married she knew all along he had kids she knew who he was but it was exciting for her you know you got the date you talking to someone with this blue check and maybe you think he's gonna leave his wife for you nope <laughs> but she did give like some haphazard the apology to the wife and kids. I just wanted to make a part two. Um, I feel like it's obviously necessary. Um, hindsight is 2020. I initially wanted to go in and talk about how remorseful I feel and how embarrassed and disgusted I am with myself, but I didn't want people to look at it and think like, oh, she's playing the victim. But. In reality, it had the opposite effect. Something I now realize I didn't touch on enough was the fact that um, one of my friends had attempted to sell it, um, which I realized yesterday whenever they reached out to me for comment. And so I was completely frantic. That is why that video is, for one, just so all over the place. And two, why I didn't touch on some of the things that I initially would have liked. So in this video, I would like to address some of those things. I only came forward because I wanted to kill whatever story the tabloid had. The most important part that I did definitely gloss over is the fact that I was under the impression that their marriage was over. I believe that they were keeping it quiet to avoid the negative press because, as I had said, I was new to LA. So I just assumed that with celebrities of that caliber that that's just how it was. And that's why I feel exploited because he knew I believed everything that he said because of my vulnerable position of being new to LA. Also, he was DMing me straight from his verified Instagram account. I didn't have any reason to further question it, but I now realize that that was likely a manipulation tactic of his, you know, just hiding in plain sight. As soon as I had realized that was not the case, I had cut things off with him. In retrospect, I wish I would have questioned things more. I wish I wasn't so naive, but you know, being naive is not an excuse for what I did in the role I played in this. Again, in no way was I trying to gain sympathy, and I fully realize I'm not the victim in this. I'm not the one who's really getting hurt here. It's Biotti and her children, and for that, I'm so, so sorry. I don't buy his apology. I really don't buy her apology. He really upset he got caught. She really upset that, you know, women ain't take her back. But the only person who's going to benefit from all this is the three women who were texting him in their OnlyFans accounts who are about to do crazy numbers because this is the most attention they'll probably have in their life. So you might as well monetize it. What do you think? You know, do you think he's going to get a divorce? Is she really going to cash him out? Because he's worth 160 million. They just started a tequila business. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And if you have a topic you want me to cover, you can reach me at henryresilient at gmail.com. Peace.